Hey guys, it's Delilah. And it's Esther. And in today's video, we are going to be telling you guys about how we forced our <laughs> boyfriends to become friends and how it was a huge mistake. Yes, now these were our first serious boyfriends. And I guess we're going to start from the beginning and just talk about how we met them. So first, should we talk about how you met your boyfriend, John? Yes. So... I met John at the roller rink, and back <laughs> in the day, the roller rink was always the place to go every Saturday night. Like, we literally would go almost every single mm -hmm. Saturday, and we'd always be so excited throughout the entire week, waiting for Saturday to come, <laughs> and all of these different kids from, like, all of the surrounding schools in the area would go there every single Saturday. And that's how we would meet people. Yes, to this day, we're still friends with a lot of people we met back then who we'd go skating with like every week. Okay, now we're going to be talking about how I met my boyfriend, Alan. So back in the day, Delilah and I used to like randomly friend people <laughs> on Facebook, like people we didn't even know. Yeah. So we randomly friended him and we would like message him. And then we also used to make these fake snapchat accounts or at oh least boy. we did this one time and we called him on it because we were friends with him on there and we were going to be going skating that night and we were like talking in some weird voice like yes. what voice was it even what were you we saying we were saying something about how oh, i'll try pickles have cracks do pickles have cracks <laughs> was it kind of like that yes but we were like talking in a way where we were like disguising our voice so that like he didn't know it was us but we mm. told him that we were going to be going roller skating that night and we invited him along and he came not knowing who had invited him and i don't even know if to this day he knew that was us does yeah he? i don't know i don't think we told him did we i don't think so and i just cannot believe that he actually showed up like literally <laughs> not knowing like who he was gonna meet and then did he just show up, but then he never got to know who was the mm -hmm. one that told him to come? Yeah, well, that that was the first time we met him in person. And mm -hmm. yeah, he never, I don't think even to this day, he even knows that was us. But I mean, if he watches the video, he'll know. Yeah, he'll know. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to be talking about how Delilah got with John. Okay, so we were skating, and I think it was announced that it was going to be a couple skate. And then um, John asked me to, and then after the couple skate, I think this is how it went anyway, he asked me to be his girlfriend and I said yes. But the thing was, there was another guy at skating that <laughs> liked me who I also liked and his name, his name actually was Brandon, like for privacy reasons. Did we explain how private, for privacy reasons we were calling them John No, and yeah, that's not their real names. Yeah, that's not their real names. But um, this guy's name really was Brandon, and I don't think it matters if I say his real name. No, I don't you. think he would even care. Well, anyway, I liked him, and I guess he liked me too. And he told me after skating, after I said yes to John, he told me that he was going to ask me out that night too. And he was all sad about it. And then I was kind of sad too because I was like, oh, I would have rather dated Brandon <laughs> than John. So me and John's relationship was already off to a bad start. Also, I remember being very upset because I had a crush on John as well, and we kind of had a thing, kind of. Well, he was a big player. He had a thing with yeah, lots of girls. Like everybody. He was, like, <laughs> flirting with everybody, so I kind of liked him, too. Like, I don't know why, though, like, looking back at it now, but I was upset. I don't know why, either. And I just remember being kind of annoyed and upset and jealous about them getting together. Because you guys actually ended up getting together before me and Alan got together, didn't you? Because I was single yeah. at the time. Yeah, we did. All right, so next we're going to be talking about how I got with Alan. So... <laughs> Um, Delilah and I were hanging out and Alan had like messaged Delilah beforehand and said that he was like gonna just come and like surprise me yep. and then yeah I didn't know about it he just randomly showed up while we were hanging out and asked me out and I'm just like yes I said yes although looking back on it now I don't know it's probably kind of a mistake but I don't really regret it because of all the funny things that I mean, happened. That's how I feel about John too I don't really feel like it was a mistake it's just it's just funny now, mm -hmm. and I'm glad it happened. Yeah. And I'm glad it all happened <laughs> the way it happened, too, because it's just funny now. Yeah. We um, went skating, like, every Saturday. All four of us, like, would go skating together, and there's, like, a few times things happen <laughs> while we were skating, like... 
there's this one time when we after skating we were outside and we were like <laughs> on the side of the building um and what were we even doing were i think we just, all like, four of us out? were like making out like me and john were making out and you and alan were making out. yeah we were making out and then the owner of the roller rink came she was like walking up or we heard her something what was I she think she saying? started screaming get away from my oh building. yeah she's like get away from the side of my <laughs> building and then alan somehow just like ended up creeping away and we were all yes. freaking out i was like alan where are you going don't he abandon us say or anything. he was just like slowly walking away yes. and didn't he literally just like walk home from there i like, think didn't he, he did he was just gone he just, he just took off and left me you and john he just abandoned us <laughs> just literally left us to get in trouble and I don't even know how he got away without her seeing, but somehow he managed to. And then he just walked home and left us. And she came and like yelled at us. She was like, "Get, get out! Of the, get off the <laughs> side of my building! Like, what are you doing?" And we we're just like, "Uh." And I remember being so scared. <laughs> so, were we like so scared? Yes. But I don't think I don't think she really did anything. But she just yelled no, at yeah, us. She and just was yelled so at us. Angry. But after that, she kind of had it out for us. Like. Mm -hmm. So then there was this other time when we were all hanging out at the roller rink and how did this go down? Weren't we all sitting at this table mm -hmm. and then didn't Alan give you a side yes, hug Yes, it was something? literally just like a side hug. It was just like this. That's all it was. And then the owner, she saw this and then she came up to us and like started yelling. And like, I don't remember exactly what she said, but she said something like how there's no hugging allowed. Oh yeah, and how that was against the rules. And then I don't remember if we actually even laughed or- I laughed. Yeah, well, Delilah's definitely <laughs> laughing. I may have laughed too. I don't like, remember. Okay, it was right after she walked away, I started laughing. Cause, I mean, it was just funny. It, <laughs> it was funny and I like started laughing and I guess maybe it was kind of disrespectful, but at the same time, I didn't care. And I still didn't really care. Also, <laughs> it was, I, didn't, it was I didn't even know that like no hugging was allowed. There's no sign that said no hugging. I was never told no, no hugging. No, it wasn't and even a full hug had, like, either. It was a side hug. We had like hugged people how many other times and like I we think, never got in trouble. I think she just had it out for us because for whatever reason she thought that we were trouble. I guess probably after the <laughs> whole thing with like being inside of her building. That, that I mean, was that kind was of kind of bad. But after that, she just, you know, thought of us as being trouble. She saw the side hug and she didn't like it. So then she came and started yelling at them. And then when she walked away, but I don't even think I laughed that loud or anything. It's kind of had a smirk on my face. Then she well, like turned around and saw. There's another guy sitting at the table with us and he was like, like the one full on laughing and he didn't get in trouble at all it's probably because he was related to them i think he was like her nephew yeah. or something and he was laughing a lot harder than i was and he was being way more disrespectful than i was being but she literally took us into her office and like yelled at us like what did she all even say like she well <laughs> she was saying how she was never gonna allow us to step foot in her building again. And then did she make us give her our parents' mm -hmm. phone numbers? She's which, like threatening to call them. And then she was saying how she'll be the one laughing and how she's gonna have the last Oh yeah, laugh. she'll be the one laughing when we never step foot yeah, we in the trouble. roller rink again. So there was that. And then- Didn't she end up apologizing to us after though? Mm -hmm. And then she's like claimed she was gonna let us come in for free but then she never did yeah she never did and also that was the same time where alan like didn't he start crying after that and didn't he like talk to one of the workers oh there, yeah like, he crying. was talking to the worker crying saying how it was his fault not <laughs> me and esther's fault how he was the one that hugged her so he should be the one in trouble but for some reason he got out of it nope. again he it wasn't was just in trouble. Got in trouble and you weren't even hugging him back he was the one that like <laughs> went in for the hug it wasn't that we were the ones that got in trouble oh yeah and then when i laughed didn't she say something like how you were laughing because you didn't have to listen to the rules and i was laughing because my friend which was you didn't have to listen to the mm -hmm. rules and that what she yeah, said yeah she worded it, it was so some, funny like, really weird thing <laughs> and yeah, she had it out for us after the whole building thing, like kissing on the side of her building. Mm. So she would always get like upset with us when we were skating, like like when we were on the actual like skating floor. We would all like skate and like hold hands oh, yeah, together. All four of us would. And then she would like 
she came up to us and like said that people were complaining about us and people complained about us all the time so that we got in the way and I don't know if she said that people thought we were annoying but why do I feel like she even said I that? I think she did which I don't know if that's even true she was just making it up. I don't up. know what, like, like other people did that kind of stuff too though but then I don't I don't know if that was true or not but that's what she was claiming anyway. Mm-hmm. So since we all loved hanging at the roller rink so much, we decided that we thought it'd be kind of fun if they became closer, like became friends. Like they kind of already were friends, but they weren't that close. Like definitely not as close as Delilah and I are. And we just oh, thought yeah. it would be really fun for us all to become close so we could like hang out all the time. So we decided that we wanted Alan and John to become like best friends for mm -hmm. some reason. And then we told them that. So then they started hanging out by <laughs> themselves, just those two like... John would sleep over at Alan's house and what did they all do? I know that they'd like didn't they wear each other's clothes? Mm -hmm. Did they even sleep in the same I bed think as so, each other yes. at some point? I'm pretty sure they did. And like Alan, no, John would like stay at Alan's house for like multiple nights in a row. Mm -hmm. And it was just I don't know, it was kind of weird. And also the thing was is that they both had a thing for both of us. Yeah. Which is I don't know, something that we've had to deal with a lot because it seems like any guys that we've had in common, at least at some point, have had a thing for both of us. And a lot of guys, even now, seem like they have a thing for both oh, of yeah, us like, at the same like time. it's always like that. It's always like that. So they both had a thing for both of us and they would, like, <laughs> talk about us when they had, like, their sleepovers mm -hmm. and, like... And talk about how they liked both of us, how both of them liked they, both of us. And they told us this and thought we were going to be all happy about and, it. And, like, seemed like they wanted to have some, like like four-way relationship did. like they were both into us and then it seemed like they were into each other know, too like they'd like wear each other's clothes they'd sleep in the same <laughs> bed and they just ended up getting closer and closer and it got to the point where they were closer with each other than they were with us yes. they spent more time with each other than they did with us and we're like okay this might be a problem it was yeah it, it was honestly very weird it i don't know and then came the fateful day oh the where, fateful day where they decided to get buzz cuts together now this was a huge mistake because first of all alan one of the things i loved about him the most was his hair he same the, with john he had the best hair but do you remember alan's hair it was like so long and wavy and mm -hmm. just like like so thick i loved his hair yeah, and john's hair was pretty long too at least for a guy it was like on the longer side and i loved his hair too and john knew that i loved his hair i mean didn't alan probably mm -hmm. know that was like too? one of the things i loved the most about his physical appearance like i yeah, loved same. his hair and for some reason they decided they were gonna get <laughs> buzz cuts together and like i'm not like trying to be rude to anyone but just personally i don't like the way buzz cuts look like i never really have same and so. i mean obviously like if they wanted to have buzz cuts i mean that was you know they should do what they wanted mm -hmm. to do but in that moment i mean me and john had been having lots of problems anyway and i was already starting to lose feelings for him i wasn't as attracted to him anymore but once he got that buzz cut it was <laughs> over like i knew right then this is over. I'm not attracted to him at all anymore. Like, and at that point, literally everything that he would do would like disgust me. And I think, wasn't I telling you about that on the phone? Mm -hmm. I was telling you how I think I've lost feelings for, for John. I don't really feel anything for him anymore. He, I'm not very attracted to him anymore. And everything he does disgusts me. And like literally after the buzz cut, that was the last <laughs> straw. I knew it was over once they sent that picture of them too. Yes. With their buzz cuts. <laughs> So I was telling you about all of that and then and then what ended up happening is me and my big mouth um I was talking to Alan on the phone and Alan and John decided to kind of trick me I guess because of oh, course man. they were having one of their sleepovers or whatever they were like both at Alan's house and Alan and I talked every night so anyways he called me and he was starting to question me about like Delilah and Delilah and John and I was just like well why are you asking me about that and so I ended up just telling him all this stuff that Delilah <laughs> said about John like how she was disgusted by him everything he did disgusted her she didn't really have feelings for him anymore <laughs> and so this whole time I didn't even know that John was at Alan's house but he was and Alan had the phone on speaker oh, no! so John could hear everything that I was saying 
And so, yeah, John found out for me, like, Delilah's true feelings for him. And I was planning on telling John, you know, that I wanted to break up, but I was just trying to figure out the best way to do it. I was going to tell him, and I wanted to be the one to tell him. Like, I think I was going to take him aside and, like, tell him in person. I was going to try to, like... I mean, he was not the best guy anyway, so I don't really feel bad that it happened this way. But at the same time, I was still going to try to be at least nice about mm -hmm. it and, like, tell him in person. I was, like, trying to plan it out. And then all of a sudden, I get a phone call from John. And John <laughs> was not happy. Wait, did John call you before I called you and told you what happened? I don't remember. I just remember getting a phone call from John and John being angry. <laughs> and he was like asking me if I wanted to break up or something and then I just told him I was like yeah and John was like so mad because I mean he like didn't, he didn't even come from me he came from you over speaker like talking to Alan uh, so yeah that's how we ended up breaking up and then I wasn't necessarily mad at Esther for what happened but then I ended up, we ended up getting in a fight because it seemed like you were taking <laughs> Alan's side. Because at the time, no offense, but you kind of worshipped Alan. That, that is very <laughs> true. Like, he was like my first boyfriend, or at least first real serious boyfriend. Like we were together for like a long time and I loved him for some reason. No, I don't want to say that, but I like, <laughs> like don't want to say I worshipped him, but I mean, <laughs> oh, it but, was... It's like, because I remember I was so angry that Alan did that. Like, I was so mad at her boyfriend, Alan, for everything that went down. And I think I was telling you about it, but then you were trying to, like, stand up for Alan and say he did the right thing. And I was just, I was so yeah, angry. Yeah, that, that was bad. I mean, I feel bad about that still <laughs> and how like, it all went down. And then didn't we not talk for hardly at all for, like, a couple months yes, or something? Yes, which is very, very odd for us. Like, we never mm. go that long without talking, Yeah, ever. we just, we weren't close for a while. We just kind of grew apart for a while after that because I think I was just so angry. We just did not talk for a long time, <laughs> which was so bizarre for us. But then eventually we ended up making up with each other, so... All right, so now I guess we'll talk about how Alan and I broke up. <laughs> so things had been not going well for a while, and I don't know, I'm, I've i had a feeling that things were going to end, but I really didn't want them to, because like Delilah said, like, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta worship Alan. I loved him so much. I mean, there's always something about, like, that first love, and that's what I, like, consider him to be, because I do think I actually did love him. I don't think I loved John. Actually, I know I didn't love John. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, Alan had, like, told Delilah, like, the day before something that he was, like, planning on breaking up with me. And I didn't even tell you, and the bad thing was at the time, I was thinking in my head, well, this is kind of payback for what happened with John. And had <laughs> And he, like, said, like, more than once, like, within the weeks, like, leading up to that, that he was contemplating, like, breaking up with me. Yes, he did. <laughs> I just didn't say anything about it because he, like, didn't want me to tell him. Like, well, technically some, like, not very great things went down when me and John broke up. So I was like, well, I guess I don't care. It's kind of coming back. <laughs> That's not so mean. Like, we both were kind of crappy friends at times. Yeah, we were. Back then we were. <laughs> Did we, wait, did we ever say how old we were at this time? I don't think so, yeah. I was, well, when me and John were together, I was like 14 and you were 16. But mm -hmm. then when you and um, Alan broke up, were you 17? Yeah, so I had was like 17. another year passed. And also, just for reference right now, I'm 23 and Delilah's 21. Just so you guys know, this is like a long this time ago. This is a ago. long, long time ago. And we've been friends since, didn't we get close when I was like 11 or 12? Mm -hmm. That's when we started getting close. So, I mean, we grew up together and we've like experienced like so much together. Pretty and much everything. I know. So we've like seen each other's worst moments, basically, like in growing up. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we ended up breaking up. He was the one who dumped me, and I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's because he actually had a thing with another girl because he was with someone, like, instantly, like, after oh, that. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And then didn't, like, they send pictures of them together? Mm-hmm. And yeah, then just, like, a few days after, they were sending pictures and, like, 
she she was like snapping me and I didn't even have her on snap like sending me pictures of them together like saying how he loves her now and how he doesn't have any feelings for me and that was very immature and, that like, was and like I um I didn't know anything about like this girl when like he told me he was breaking up with you but then the thing is after you guys broke up and he was with this girl like I at school this girl would like was at the same school that I was going to at the time and she like would always come and like talk to me in the halls and try to be all friendly with me even though she knew that like we were best friends and it was so like oh, awkward yeah, and bizarre and I remember that. being so annoyed I'm like why are you trying to like be friends with me or be friendly with me after like sending those kind of like things to you because like weren't they kind of harassing you for mm -hmm. a while and I'm just like what is this person doing because then she was like trying to like be all like close with me and she'd always talk to me all the time and act like she liked me so much and I just remember like being bothered by it and we can't forget to tell the part of the breakup how, oh, no, we how can't. after Alan Dummy, he tried to pay a different guy to take me out. That but, is so bad. But the funny thing is, is that he wouldn't have had to pay this guy because this guy had, of course, had a thing, thing for both, for of, both us. of us. Yep. Like at the same time. Did. And yeah, he tried to pay someone to ask me out. I think he ended up asking me out but I didn't say yes and also I don't think Alan actually like paid him to do it but, but he, he tried. tried he tried to and that is so messed up so I guess that's basically the story of how John and Alan became friends and it just ended up being a big mistake huge mistake and I don't know if they've ever like talked since then or if they ever like stayed friends I don't think they did yeah like, I don't think I, they did either actually I talked to Alan for the first time in years it's like since we broke up we broke up in like April of 2016 <laughs> I actually like reached out to him like a month or two ago just to like say hey because I hadn't talked to him in so long but there's like no hard feelings between us anymore like we're on good terms now oh yeah yeah I mean same with John I mean I don't talk to him anymore but I don't have like any bad feelings towards him at all yeah same and like we were saying before or at least I like I don't really regret any of this and I'm kind of glad that it all happened the way it did because Ooh, now it's too. just so funny to like think about and talk about mm -hmm. well I guess that's gonna be all for now guys thank you so much for watching and if you want to see more story times from us leave a comment yes down below. just let us know because we have so many stories yeah. that we can tell you like hilarious ones we have hilarious ones we have like scary ones we just have like so many different stories that we could tell you yeah all right so thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye